Antioch, police are looking for suspects in the death of a 16 year old boy from Pittsburgh. Authorities say he was shot and killed in a garage that had been set up as a makeshift tattoo parlor. KTVU's Christina Rendon is here now with more on what happened. Christina. Well, Frank, police are looking for at least two suspects who were last seen running away from that house. The motive tonight still unclear. Shenandoah Street in Antioch, a typically quiet neighborhood, turned into a crime scene Saturday as a teenager was gunned down in the garage of a home where a makeshift tattoo parlor was set up. He's been identified as 16-year-old Rasan Sipion of Pittsburgh. I was sitting in, in my living room and just all at once um, I heard pop, pop, pop. Antioch police say two people went into the garage. One of them opened fire on Sipion before they ran off. The teen was not getting a tattoo at the time of the shooting and investigators are trying to figure out why he was there. The homicide, a shock to neighbors. The kids, they've been good kids. We've seen them for years. They, you know, they've not been problem, you know, that's why this probably came from somebody from the outside of them because they're usually pretty respectful. Police say about 10 people were at the house when officers arrived, but the crowd grew to 20 plus as word spread of the shooting. Pittsburgh PD, Brentwood PD and the county sheriff's office were called in for backup to help with crowd control. It was an extremely chaotic scene with lots of people. At one point, there was a physical fight between those on scene. Police say two men were trying to get back into the home after the shooting. One threw a punch at an officer. They were detained, questioned, and released. The victim's mother later showed up to the scene, emotional, upset, and became confrontational with officers. At one point, police say she pulled out a gun. With the help of family members, she was detained and booked into county jail, but police did not release details on charges. Right now, with what's going on, I cannot live here no more. I wouldn't be able to live here no more. It's really sad to see this happen here on our block and to their family. Uh, and I'm sorry to see that happen. It's just too much gun violence. We did try to learn more information about the mother who was booked into county jail. Police say they may be releasing more information in the coming days. Frank. Christina Rendon, live for us tonight. Christina, thank you.